analogy actually. Imagine if you could walk into the blackjack table and not have to place a trade or a bet. Not have to place a bet, but you get free cards. And they just keep shoveling the cards to you. Uh, yeah, 14, nope, fold. 17, nope, fold. Uh, 20, okay, I'll keep that fucking hand. Okay? 20 is still beatable, right? If the, if the deal draws 21, you lose. So nothing is 100%. You see what I'm saying? And so the same thing with uh, uh, trading. So imagine if you were given the opportunity to sit at a blackjack table and not have to place a bet until the optimal hand comes up. Fuck, man. How, how much money can you make if you, if you had the discipline to fucking sit there and just wait for optimal cards to come out? Right, guys? That's insane. Same thing with trading, man. That's, that's why I keep saying yesterday, the, the best traders are not the smartest traders. They're the most disciplined traders. They're able to sit at the casino, which is the stock market, but only play the high probability hands, the blackjack hands that has 18, 19, 20. They're disregarding all the marginal hands. I'm not even taking an 11, dude. I'm not gonna double down an 11 because fuck, dude. I don't. I, that, that my chances are not that good. I'm taking the guaranteed good probability hands. 18 in blackjack is pretty good, but it gets beat all the time with 20, right? But still, the cards are in your favor. So if, if, if one takeaway from this driving with balance series is, dude, this is your opportunity to play at the casino, but you don't have to place a single bet until you see your cards. And that's exactly what waiting for your setup is. Does that make sense now, guys?